Hey guys, welcome back to Burns This Math Club. Today's topic is how to multiply rational numbers. So what are rational numbers? Rational numbers are numbers that can be turned into fractions. So when you have when you multiply um, two integers with the same signs, you will get a positive product. So as you can see, when you multiply a positive number by a positive number, you will get a positive answer. And then when you multiply a negative number by a negative number, you will also get a positive answer. Now, multiplying with two different signs will give you a negative product. So when you multiply, for example, a positive number by a negative number, you're going to get a negative product. And if you do the reverse, so if you multiply a negative number by a positive number, then you're also going to get a negative product. OK, now let's do some examples. So now we have 4 parentheses 3. OK, so as you can see, 4 is a positive number, and so is 3. So when you multiply two uh, uh, numbers with the same signs, um, the product is going to be a positive product. So 4 times 3 is 12. Our answer is positive 12. OK, now we have negative 3 over 4 and we're going to multiply that by negative 1 half okay as you can see now we're multiplying a negative with a negative so they are the same signs so we know that our answer is going to be a positive answer so I'm going to put a positive sign here so just so we just in case we we will forget okay now when you multiply fractions you simply go ahead and you multiply the numerators with the numerators and the denominators with the denominators. So 3 times 1 is going to give us 3 and 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. So positive 3 over 8 is our answer. Okay. Now let's do another problem. So now we have 5 times negative 3. Okay, so now as you can see, 5 is a positive number and 3 is a negative number. So now uh, going back to our second rule, um, when you're multiplying two integers with different signs, you're going to get a negative answer, okay, a negative product. So I'm going to put a negative sign here um, just in case we forget. Okay, so 5 times 3 is, uh, is going to give us 15. So the answer to 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Okay, now let's do another problem. So now we have negative 50 times 3. OK, so negative 50 is a negative number, and 3 is a positive number. So now we're also uh, doing the same thing. Now we're multiplying uh, two different in integers with two different signs. So our answer is going to be a negative product. So when you multiply 50 times 3, you get 150. or answer is going to be negative 150. Okay, now let's do another problem. So now we have 1 over 3 times negative 4. Okay, so now we have a fraction uh, multiplied by a integer. So, so now let's um, make this integer into a fraction as well. So we're multiplying 1 over 3 and I'm going to put the small point representing um, multiplication. So, and then we have negative 4. Now, when you, when you have an integer and it does not have a um, denominator under it, the denominator is always going to be 1. So now we have 1 over 3 times negative 1 over 4. So remember, whenever you're multiplying, um, uh, when you multiply fractions, you go ahead and multiply the uh, numerators with the numerators and the denominators with the denominators. So 1 times 4 is going to give us 4. And 3 times 1 is going to give us 3. So 4 over 3 is our fraction. And then the sign that go, um, will go would be a negative sign. Why? Because we multiplied a positive 1 over 3 by a negative 4 over 1. So remember, two different um, signs will give you a negative product. So negative. 4 over 3. Now let's do another problem. So as you know before we did multiply two different integers okay sometimes with the same sign sometimes with different signs. So now what if we have 
three integers, okay? So now we are multiplying negative two by negative three, and we're also multiplying that by negative five. So I'm multiplying a negative by a negative by a negative. So how do we do this? Well, whenever you have three or more integers that you have to multiply, it's better to do it um, uh, by multiplying two at a time. So first, we're going to multiply negative two by negative three. And so negative two times negative three is going to give us positive six. Why? Because a negative times negative, remember, the same signs, you'll get a positive um, product. So we get a positive six as our answer. Now, we're going to also um, copy down the other number, uh, another integer, which is neg negative five. So now we have to multiply six by negative five. Six times negative five gives us negative 30. Why? Because we're multiplying a positive number by a negative number. And as, as you remember before, when we multiply two integers with different signs, you're going to get a negative uh, product. So we get a negative 30 as our product. And so this is how you um, multiply rational numbers. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.